Hey guys, it's Banna Maria. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I don't really know what exactly I'm going to be doing, but I just know that I want to come here and film. Um, so I have my window open right now. Sorry if you can hear. I live on a main street, so sorry if you can hear any cars. Birds are chirping. I just wanted some fresh air in this room, so yeah. I got my tulips. My favorite flowers ever are white tulips. I love them. They're just giving me life right now, so I decided to throw them in this video. Yeah, anyway, so I'm going to be going out with some girlfriends tonight. Going to go have some drinks, eat some good food. So I'm just getting ready for that, and I figured why not film it. So yeah, um, let's go ahead and see what we can. I'm going to go ahead and color correct. You guys don't have to color correct if you don't have like dark circles or any discoloration on your face or anything like that don't feel like you need to color correct you can always just do it with a concealer I like to color correct because my dark spots are so prominent that I just feel better if I do you know like sometimes I don't mind going out with no makeup on like that's totally fine with me but I feel like if I'm gonna take the time to do my makeup I should just do it how I want it to come out so I'm just gonna take my LA girl concealer uh, this is in the shade orange corrector and I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on all those spots that I feel are prominent and on my under eyes as well The foundation that I'm using is this Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. Um, I've seen a lot of people really talking about this and I did like a first impressions on my Snapchat and seriously, I love this stuff for now. I mean, I don't know how it's going to treat me, you know, down the line, but super full coverage. And for the price point, which honestly I don't even remember how much it was, but it is drugstore, so it's not going to be as expensive. Then I'll just go in with my beauty blender, and you can see how that coverage is. Like, it's just amazing. I got mine in the shade Sand. So I know people always say not to bring your foundation under your eyes, but I do. I... I just don't mind it. I know it's not the best for my eyes, but, or for my under eye area, but I just do it. And I'm also going to go over my lids. I may or may not use this as my eyeshadow base. I'm not sure yet. I'm hoping this comes out okay, but I'm going to go ahead and try and bronze up and kind of contour my face with um, this LA Girl concealer. This is in the shade Chestnut. So I'm going to go from the top of my ear towards the crease of my lips to create this contour. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my beauty blender and start blending this out. So the point of this is so that my face isn't looking too powdery. I've noticed, well, lately my skin has been super dry, like more than usual. I wanted to work with creams more just because it gives that extra hydration because the powders really tend to cling on to dry skin. And it just doesn't look good. So you see how I brought this down a little too low, especially right here. What we're going to do after is clean it up with some translucent powder so that it's going to look nice and clean. Then what I'm going to do, I'm also going to contour my nose with the same color. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring it from the inner corner of my eye. Bring it down. A little bit down here. Same thing on the other side. And again, just blend that out. So it looks crazy right now, 
but seriously trust me once we go in with all the highlighting it's all gonna blend together so now I'm taking my LA girl concealer in the color pure beige and I'm gonna go ahead and highlight under my eyes And I'm just going to create a triangle to really lift up the shape of my face. And I'm also going to go ahead and go onto the sides of my nose. And that's what's really going to help the nose contour stick out. So now before we blend that out, what I'm going to do is open up my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I'm going to go ahead and just pour some into the lid so I can have this ready because after I blend out one eye, I want to set it right away. Then what I'm going to do is put some Fix Plus onto the Beauty Blender just to moisten it a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend out the highlighted areas. Once I blend that out to my liking, I'm going to go ahead with my e.l.f. blush brush. I'm going to dip into the to the translucent powder. I'm going to go ahead and set that highlight. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. Really making sure to blend that out nicely. Making sure all the creases are worked out. Then what I'm going to do, I get these like lap lines. So I'm going to go ahead and set those so they don't crease too bad and too soon. I also like setting right under my lip because if I wear a lipstick, it'll help not to transfer so much. I don't know if that makes sense. It works, I promise. And then I get this line across my forehead usually just when I laugh or make facial expressions, which I make a lot of them. So I'm going to go ahead and set that area as well. Then I'm just going to go and put a little bit more in the under eye area so things aren't moving around. Some on the bridge of my nose. I'm going to go ahead and grab this Morphe M527. Yes, it's dirty because I used it recently. And I'm going to go ahead and go into this Mary Kay bronzer. This is in deep. And I'm going to set where I put that contour. So anytime that you're using a cream, you always want to set it with a powder as well because that will make your makeup last longer. Especially if you're going to be drinking a little bit, you know, you get hot. <laughs> so that's really important. Do the same thing on the other side. Focusing more in this area just so that's the strongest point because when you're looking, that's what's going to make it look more narrow. Then I'm going to bring some up to my temples as well. Not too much. Along the hairline, a little bit under that lovely chin of ours. <laughs> and there you go. So now, the trick to cleaning all this up is... Well, for me, what works is using this Morphe M459 brush. It's just, you see all that? <laughs> all that translucent powder. So what works for me is taking a brush like this. You want it a little bit flat just because I imagine it'd be harder to use anything else. Even if you use a brush that's flat. Just anything with this kind of form is just going to be a lot easier to use this technique. So what I'm going to do, I have, I have, <laughs> I have some translucent powder in my lid still. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take the tip of the brush, set it down. Let's stop any excess. And then what I'm going to do is right where I want to clean up I'm going to create a line with the translucent powder so I'm going to go right along here I usually create like this little cup right here so it's kind of holding my cheekbone if that makes sense and I'm going to bring it down a little bit and that's what's going to help clean this whole area up and then I'm just bringing this down a little bit because I want to clean this whole area up 
and that will just really create such a strength in your jawline it's no joke if you don't have one if you do you really don't need this step <laughs> so while we're baking or cooking this part I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows I'm gonna spray some Mac fix plus onto the spoolie end just to kind of create more definition and see exactly where things need to go but I did just recently get my eyebrows done so I'm not too worried about it. I'm going in with my NYX micro brow pencil. I love this thing seriously. This is in the shade Ash Brown and you'll notice here let me zoom you guys in a little bit. You'll notice that my eyebrows are not even here so what I usually like to do is just take this straight across and then start filling out, or sorry, filling in. Starting right around this general area just to make it more even to start off with. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and look straight here. I'm going to put more force onto my index finger and really start filling this part in. And what I'm doing is I'm flicking this so that it looks like hair. I know a lot of people go in like this. I don't know if you can tell, but I would do that on this side because my hairs grow upright. This side, they all go this way. So I just want to stick to the natural way that my eyebrows flow on each side. If I had to fill this one in, I would go straight up just because that's how my eyebrow is. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> It really doesn't take much for me to do my eyebrows just because they're so thick. So once that is done, I'm going to go ahead and go in with this Real, Tec Real Techniques Duo Fiber Face Brush. <clears throat> and I'm just going to go ahead and dust all this off. And you'll notice that you have a much cleaner line. Just make sure everything is blended. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my Makeup Geek and Manny MUA palette. I'm so happy I finally got this. And I'm going to go ahead and go into the shade Beaches and Cream, which is this shade up here. And I'm going to put this all over the lid. So I just recently got the new Makeup Geek or not all the new ones, but I got some new Makeup Geek eyeshadows and I love them. I'm like so in love with Pillow Talk. It's this really nice like lavender shade. I don't really know how to explain it, but it's just so pretty. I don't know if you guys can do this like lavender taupey glittery shade. It's beautiful. So I've been really wanting to use that. I'm going to go in with my Sigma E40. This is my favorite crease brush. I'm going to go into this shade. This is Chickadee by Makeup Geek. And I'm just going to pack that onto my brush, tap off any excess. And then I'm going to work this color into my crease. So with the same brush, I'm just going to wipe, wipe it off on a towel that I have here. And then I'm going to go in, this is um, Tuscan Sun by Makeup Geek. It's a beautiful like nudie pink sorbet shade. And I'm going to take that on the same brush, the same way. I'm going to go ahead and work it into the crease. However, I worked Chickadee up further. I'm going to go ahead and put Tuscan Sun like right on this fold that I have. That's where I'm going to focus it. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch brushes and I'm going to go in with my Morphe M441 brush. I love this brush. I have two of them. So what I'm going to do now is go into Cherry Cola also by Makeup Geek. It's a like brownie purple and I love it. When I'm dipping into this color, I want you guys to see, here's the color right here. I'm gonna flip it so you can see. I'm literally going at the very top of the brush. Tap off any excess, because what happens with this brush, it has like a little point 
on the tip of the brush and that's really going to help control anywhere that you want to precisely apply the shadow. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the tip of the brush, which is already dipped into the shadow, and I'm going to work it right here in the crease, like the very folded crease of my eye. First I'm going to go ahead and pat it on and then I'm going to blend. I like having my eye open for this process just because I feel like I can tell exactly where it's going versus versus if I had it closed like this you can kind of get confused into where exactly you want to apply the eyeshadow. So if I have it open like how my eyes will look if I'm looking directly at you that way I can tell exactly where the shadow is going. Now I'm going to go into this top shade right here. It's like a reddish brown brick color. It's Bitten by Makeup Geek. And what I'm going to do is just, again, focus this on the outer V. Obviously, that's where I want like most of my color. Then I'm going back in with my Sigma brush and I'm just going to dip into a little bit of Chickadee and I'm going to blend these colors out. So I'm going into this BH Cosmetics brush. I don't know. I really wish they had the name of the brushes, but they don't. So this brush really just helps pick up and pack on colors for me. So I'm going to dip into that insomnia color and I'm going to put it right on my lid. Oh girl, yes. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the same brush and put some Fix Plus on there so it gets a little bit wet and dip into insomnia again. And again, just place it on my lid. This is going to really intensify those teal reflex and then I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M506 brush and <clears throat> I'm gonna dip into this highlighty shade this is the shade Artemis and I'm just gonna swirl my brush in there pack it on really well and work this on my inner corner okay so now I'm going to go into this little cute mini size high beam. This is by Benefit. And I'm going to place this on my ring finger and use this as a cream highlight. Put some on my cupid's bow, tip of my nose. And then I'm going in with my Anastasia That Glow palette. And I'm gonna take a Morphe M510 and I'm gonna go into the shade Dripping in Gold and I'm gonna take a little bit of Bubbly as well and go right over where I highlighted. Going in with my Sigma Powder Blush Brush. This is F10 and my Milani Luminoso Blush. I'm going to go ahead and apply that right in between my contour and my highlight. I just like doing this before I finish the eyes because I feel like it pulls everything together. I'm going to take my Tarte Eyelash Curler. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my Lash Sensational Mascara. This is new by Maybelline. This is the Luscious Mascara. So while that's drying off, I'm going to go in and do my lower lash line. I'm just going to go ahead and take a little bit of Chickadee from that down here. Just kind of as like a blending color. Then I'm going in to Cherry Cola and apply mascara to the bottom lashes okay and the last step is lips i'm going in with this wet and wild color this is in the shade 902c bear it all and then to top it off i'm gonna go in with this 
pretty amazing lip gloss by Bare Minerals. This is in the shade Fearless. And that is the finished look, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. Please thumbs up this video if you did. Comment down below and subscribe if you aren't already. And thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys. It would be running for that highlight control. Control. Oh, it's just this really pretty brown with teal reflex. Like, who would ever think to do that? Manny.